Hi guys, it's Miss Sylvia from Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa Children's Ministry. I am so happy that I get to share with you today. I get to read a story to you. I miss you so much. I miss your hugs. I miss your smiles. I miss teaching you about Jesus and his love for you and for me. Um, but And I can't wait to get back to church so we can be together again. Um, but for now, I get to um, share with you a little bit by reading a story. The title of the story is A Princess Prayer. Uh, it is written by Sherry Rose Shepherd. So we will be reading this book together. Shall we begin? There once was a little girl named Elise. She wanted to be a real princess. Elise loved playing dress up and walking down the hallway of her house. Here you see her walking down the hallway. At night, when it was time for bed, Elise would often call for her mama and ask her to read about princess adventures. As mama read in her sweet, soothing voice, Elise's eyes would light up. As she imagined herself walking in the kingdom in her beautiful dress and sparkly crown with the royal robe stretching behind her. Look at her. There she is. One night, as her mama was tucking her in bed, Elise asked, does God really answer our prayers? Yes, he does, sweet girl, even when his answer is no. He knows what's best for us because he loves us. Now, it's time to get your beauty sleep, my little princess. There she is, going to bed. Just one more thing, Mama. Do you think God would answer my prayer to be a real princess? Hmm, let's ask him and see what happens. And so Elise prayed a princess prayer. Dear God, thank you for my soft, cozy bed and for chocolate chip cookies. And God, will you please turn me into a real princess with a beautiful dress and a sparkly crown with a long royal robe. Amen. The next morning, Elise leaped out of bed and began her search. She wanted to see if God had answered her prayer. So she opened her dress up box. She saw her pretend crown and her sparkly custom dress and her brother struck, but they looked exactly the same. Nothing had changed. Next, she looked in her closet where are you, real crown? Are you hanging up high, sparkly dress on a royal robe? But her closet looked just like it did yesterday. Nothing had changed. After she put on her favorite outfit, Elise went outside and sat on her tire swing to think. Now, where should I look, she said. Where do you think she's gonna look next? Then Elise searched Bella's doghouse, just in case. Bella, what are you chewing on? If it's my real crown, it's made of pure gold, you know. Bella barked, and an old shoe in her mouth dropped to the ground. Maybe it just takes a while to make a sparkly dress just my size, Elise thought. Elise prayed the princess prayer with her mama again that night. And then again on Tuesday, Wednesday and every day for the rest of the week. On Sunday, Elise went to church. Her teacher placed a gift bag in front of each child. She said, did you know that God is called the King of Kings and he sits on a throne in heaven? God loves you so much that he chose you to be his royal children to be part of his real heavenly kingdom. Elise's eyes got really big. She asked, does that mean I am a real princess? Yes, Elise, you're a real princess in God's kingdom. Everyone opened their little bags and found two crowns inside, one to wear and one to give to someone else to share God's love. The crown sparkled, but Elise's smile sparkled more she couldn't wait to tell her mama that God had answered her princess prayer. 
Look how happy she is. When Mama arrived at the door to pick her up, Elise ran to her arms and hugged her tight. Guess what, Mama? God made us both real princesses in his kingdom. Then she pulled out the other crown and put it on her mama's head. Tears welled up in her mama's eyes. What's wrong, Elise asked, still hugging her tightly. Aren't you happy God answered my prayer? Oh, Elise, these are happy tears. Because of your prayer, I just realized that we both belong to the royal family of God. They walked to the car holding hands and laughing as they admired each other's crowns, which were extra sparkly in the sunlight. Then Elise twirled around and said, thank you, God, for choosing me and my mama to be your princesses. That is the end. I'm going to read to you a letter from my king. And boys and girls, do you know who your king is? It's God. God, the creator of this earth. He created you and me and your mom and your dad and our grandmas and our grandpas. He created everything in the world and he is the real king, the one true God. So let's see what he wants to tell us. My beloved child, you are my chosen daughter and I am your heavenly father. And if you're a boy, you are his chosen son. <laughs> I am also the king of kings, which makes you my princess. And if you're a boy, a prince. I want you to know that it is your love for me and your love for others that makes you sparkle. You can come to me every day and pray the princess prayer and I will show you how to live as the royalty you are. Love your heavenly father. And there's a little treasure of truth in this you can find in the word of God, the Bible. And it is in the book of John chapter 15, verse 16. And it says, you didn't choose me. I chose you. So boys and girls, that means that God chose you to be his royal child. So if you're a girl, you're a princess. If you're a boy, you're a prince because we are God's children and he is the king of kings. I hope you enjoyed the story. I encourage you to continue to pray and read your Bible. Because remember, read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you again.